elite athletes are always looking for a way to get ahead. The pitch. There's a long one to right field. Forget about it. This one is headed for New Jersey. Performance enhancing drugs, or PEDs, are often turned to in order to get an edge over the competition. There are many different types of PEDs, with some of the more common being anabolic steroids, human growth hormones, and erythropoietin, or EPO. PEDs are most commonly injected or swallowed and work by raising the amount of certain chemicals in your body that you already possess, ultimately leading to greater performance. The type of chemical that is boosted depends on the PED taken. The boxer Canelo Alvarez, for example, was suspended for six months after testing positive for high levels of clenbuterol. Clenbuterol relaxes the airways, making it easier to breathe freely and have improved stamina. After years of denial, Lance Armstrong was another athlete found guilty of using EPOs and blood doping, and ultimately stripped of all seven of his Tour de France titles. EPO raises red blood cell count, which allows the user to use oxygen more efficiently and improves overall stamina. While PEDs can give various competitive boosts, they can also cause many adverse effects. Again, the negative effects seen will depend on the PED taken, but overuse of steroids, for example, can lead to extreme irritability and aggression, shrinking testicles and impotence, and liver and heart damage in men. In women, growth of facial and body hair, male pattern baldness, and changes to or cessation of the menstrual cycle can also develop. Performance enhancing drugs may be able to provide an edge over the competition for the time being, but that edge may come with serious consequences to your health for a lifetime, as well as the guilt of knowing that you didn't win on hard work alone. A better alternative might be to let all those hours that you spent training do the talking.